Hi, this is Gary with MacMost.com. Let me show you five ways you can see battery percentage on your iPhone. MacMost is brought to you thanks to a great group of more than a thousand supporters. Go to MacMost.com slash Patreon. There you can read more about the Patreon campaign. Join us and get exclusive content and course discounts. So a common thing people often want to see on their iPhone is the battery percentage. That's the actual number like 100% or 50%. By default you won't see that really anywhere. But it's easy to bring it up. So the techniques I'm going to show you here are for iOS 16. The latest version of iOS for the iPhone that just came out this month. The first method I want to show you is to simply bring up Control Center. So you don't have to change any settings or anything for this. If you go to the top right hand corner of the screen and drag down then you get to Control Center and there you'll see battery percentage at the top right. On older iPhones you may have to swipe up from the bottom to get Control Center. Now while this doesn't give you the battery percentage on your screen all the time the advantage is you can use it in apps that even take over the entire screen. So if you're using another method that hides a battery percentage when you're in a certain app you can still go to Control Center and see it there. Next it would be great to be able to see it on the new lock screens. If you go to the new lock screens you can add widgets here. And you may notice there's a battery widget but a lot of people online are talking about how you can't actually see your iPhone's battery percentage with that widget. Let me show you what's going on. First I'm going to tap and hold in the middle of the screen here to bring up the lock screen browser and the Customize button at the bottom. So you can create a new lock screen for this or you can customize the current one. And You can see here Add Widgets. I'm going to tap that and it brings up all the different widgets. Now there's some here that you can add very easily. And you can also scroll down and one of the categories is batteries. And you can see there are two battery widgets, a small one and a large one. Let's start with a small one. I'm going to tap on that and it adds it up here. Now notice because I have an Apple Watch it's actually showing me the Apple Watch battery percentage. A lot of people are saying, well I want to see my iPhone's battery percentage. It's not the Apple Watch one. Well you can customize this to show whatever device you want. So then you want to dismiss this. But while still in the Add Widgets mode with the little minus button here you can tap here and it brings up the controls for it. And you'll see that it's set to Automatic. Turn off Automatic. And instead now you can choose the exact device that you want to show the battery for. So you can choose your iPhone rather than your Apple Watch. And now you'll see it shows your phone there and it shows the battery amount for that in a circle. But that's not percentage. For percentage you want to actually use this widget here. And then you do the same thing. I'm going to dismiss this and then I'm going to tap here, turn off automatic, select my iPhone as the device and now I'll see my battery percentage right here. I can now get rid of this widget here and maybe put another kind of widget there. Since I have my battery percentage here it's now on this lock screen I'll let it do the update and I can see now my lock screen shows battery percentage as well as having room for one or two other widgets here on the right. Now how about on your home screen. It would be great to have the battery percentage shown here as a widget and you can do that. Tap and hold in a blank area on the screen there and you can customize your home screen. You can remove some of these apps for instance but you can also tap the plus button at the top left and now you can add widgets. Go down to get to Batteries. Tap there and you can choose between three different kinds of widgets. Two of those will actually show percentage. So this first one just shows circles. This will show percentage for various different devices including your iPhone and this one will show the percentage as well. So let's just go and add this widget here and you could move this to another home screen if you want. But now you've got your battery percentage not just for your iPhone but for three other devices as well. Now another place you could see your battery percentage with a lot more detail is by going into Settings and then to Battery. And once you're in there you'll see the battery percentage right here and it will tell you if it's charging or not. But you also see this chart here so you can look at the history of your battery percentage which can be a lot more useful because just having one number that's kind of really one dimensional. Having the ability to look at your history especially your recent history tells you a lot more. For instance has your battery dropped from 100 to 80 in the last 15 minutes. That tells you what you're doing right now is using a lot of power. Or maybe it's dropped from 82% to 80 in the last 2 hours which tells you what you're doing isn't using a lot of power. 
and you can scroll down here and get even more information. For instance, down here it tells you which apps are using the most battery power right there. So if there's a problem you can see what app is causing it. If you tap on just the last hour there you'll see that slice and you see which app is actually using the battery pretty much right now. You can switch here between percentage and activity. So you can judge whether or not an app should be using a lot of power. I mean if you're using it like 90% of the time and it's using the most power that makes sense. But if you're only using it 5% of the time but it's using 80% of the power well then you know that app is really power hungry. And the final way to get battery percentage is to have it here in the upper right hand corner. You could see it there now because as part of screen recording it shows that. But normally you wouldn't see the number. To see it you need to turn this switch on right here. And now it's there in the upper right hand corner. Instead of just a plain battery that's partially filled you'll actually see a number there. And you'll see that on the home screen and on the lock screen as well. And of course in many apps you'll also see it there although some apps take over the whole screen. So there are five different ways to get the battery percentage on your iPhone and have it visible at certain times or almost all the time. Hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching. If you like this video click the thumbs up button below to let me know. I publish new tutorials each weekday. Hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out.